Hi and welcome to a new tutorial from Trading Shenzhen. I would like to show you today how to delete bloodware perfectly from your Android smartphone. This works on any Android smartphone and it is a little bit more advanced, goes beyond the uninstalling of the apps on your smartphone. But I think when you follow this tutorial, everybody with a Windows PC can do it. The first thing we need is USB debugging on your Android smartphone. I will show it here on a Vivo and a Xiaomi device, but it works on every device in a similar way. You have to go into settings, you have to find about phone and have to search for the software information of your firmware which is installed. Then you click just five times on the software version and it will show you that the developer options is activated. Usually you go now one step back in your settings, sometimes two steps back. It's sometimes in the more about info, more in system management. And then you see the developer options, you click on developer options, you activate the developer options and you have to search now for USB debugging and activate USB debugging on your device. Now the first step is done and we need the app on your PC. We go on adbapecontrol.com, download the app, install it and we'll start it on your PC. Usually it opens up a small pop-up with the steps, but most of the stuff we already done. Finally, plug in the USB cable into your smartphone. It will open up the pop-up, allow USB debugging forever. Click on allow and now most of the apps will show in the app control app. The last step we have to do, we have to install the AC bridge. Click on yes and the smartphone will show you that it's now installing the AC bridge. Give it all the permission it needs and when AC bridge is installed, it will update the app control app and it will show you all the apps which you can now edit and uninstall, delete or deactivate. Now we can start with uninstalling the apps, but where to start? My recommendation is just click on the filter user app. These are all the apps which you usually also can just uninstall from your smartphone. There are normal apps which are installed from the developer, from the manufacturer and usually are not really necessary on the device. Most of them are Chinese apps and if you don't know what an app is called or what it is for, you can also search and look for the name. Usually it tells you something and just click on all the apps you don't need. And don't be afraid to make some errors because first of all, all the apps you uninstall, you can make a backup of it. So you can restore it if you need one single app back on the system. And the second, if you uninstall an app that is, for example, important for the system, like the UV voice assistant, when you uninstall the UV voice assistant, you go into the settings, click on UV voice assistant and nothing happens. It's just uninstalled. It won't work. And the third thing is, if you uninstall an app which is really important for the system or which you may be missing after it, you can just reset the smartphone on the end. Go into the settings, click on reset or you can also reset it in the recovery system when you boot into the recovery and you can reset the system and every app will be back on the system. So my recommendation is do all the stuff at the beginning, uninstall all the apps you don't need and then use the device with a blood free system. When we selected all the apps, we click now on select, click now on uninstall and apply this settings. Usually a pop-up opens up if you want to make a backup. Of course you can make a backup, but here I just want to delete all the user apps and I click on no. And on the smartphone, a pop-up will appear, which will ask if you want to uninstall the first app. If you give the permission and uninstall the first app, it will do all the next apps in one step. It will go through and uninstall all the apps in once. You can even see in life how it is uninstalling all the user apps. Now we move on to the system apps and they're a little bit different, but don't worry too much about it. There are a lot of system apps which you don't really need. For example, the browser app on most Chinese smartphones is useless because it's in Chinese. Usually you can uninstall it and install Chrome for it. Also the email app, not really 
needed on a Chinese smartphones. And the calendar app has usually Chinese holidays in it. And when you don't like it, uninstall it, install Google Calendar and you are fine. Everything is synced and you don't have the Chinese holidays in it. There are also some widgets which are completely in Chinese. You can go at the top to the search bar, enter the name widget and it will show you all the widgets which are on the phone. And then just select the one you don't need anymore. Which apps you uninstall is completely dependent on the Android device. For example, Vivo has a lot of bloodware. There are apps like iMusic, iVideo, there are special apps for video or music content for the Chinese market or UnionPay or Alipay, payment providers that are only in China available so they are not needed on your device or Region Player or the Health app which is also connected to the Chinese Vivo account is totally useless outside of China. Also the UV Voice Assistant, it's completely in Chinese and you can select all the options with the UV Voice Assistant, uninstall it, and when you go later into the settings and you want to activate it, it won't happen anything. Just uninstall it and everything is fine. There are also some apps, for example, the Vivo Account app or the Wallet app. You can't uninstall. You can click it, but on the end you will get a pop-up. This and this app couldn't be uninstalled and that protects you from uninstalling apps which are really needed for this system. Finally, we have selected all the apps we want to uninstall to make the device really clean. We do the same stuff like before. We click on select, we choose uninstall and then apply the settings. Of course, the pop-up will open up to show us that there are system apps and we can make a backup or don't. And then every app will be uninstalled. On the end, you get a pop-up which shows you how many of them which are selected could be uninstalled. And we are finished. To make it perfect, uninstall AC Bridge, deactivate USB debugging so you can use your Chinese smartphone without any Chinese bloodware and it will work perfectly. I hope this tutorial wasn't too difficult. If you have any questions, just leave it down into the comments. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Your Trading Shenzhen team.